1974. After mass uprisings against the imperial government, a group of military officers stepped in and removed the Emperor Haile Selassie. They called themselves the Derg and declared Ethiopia a socialist state. An opposition group, the Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Party, EPRP, took to the streets, demanding a transition to civilian rule. The Derg responded with violence, and the EPRP launched a plan to assassinate key leaders. In 1977, Colonel Mengistu Haile Mariam claimed the presidency and unleashed overwhelming violence against his political opponents. In a momentous speech in Addis Ababa's Meskel Square, Mengustu announced the beginning of the Red Terror by smashing bottles filled with red fluid, representing the blood of his enemies. The Red Terror, called Ke Shivir in Amharic, was a systematic campaign to eliminate resistance to Mengustu's military regime. Between 1977 and 1978, the military, militias, and civilian supporters of the Derg carried out large-scale killings and arbitrary arrests against suspected supporters of the EPRP. The campaign was highly organized. Neighborhood watch committees were involved in identifying suspects. Militias carried out house-to-house -house searches large-scale massacres of demonstrators, extrajudicial executions, and torture. Thousands were imprisoned and kept in unsanitary conditions. In some cases, entire families were executed. The dead piled up in the streets of the capital and in other cities. Mungustu came to be known as the Butcher of Addis. Between 1983 and 1985, the government's counterinsurgency strategies in combination with drought led to a serious famine in areas of northern Ethiopia. Hundreds of thousands of people died. Mengistu's end finally came in 1991 when opposition fighters marched on the capital, Addis Ababa. With the help of the U.S., Mengistu fled to Zimbabwe where former president Robert Mugabe offered him sanctuary. The cost to Ethiopia from the Red Terror and subsequent years of war and famine was colossal. <laughs>